Hi, I'm Harvey, and today I made a really good um, like piece of art. It's like two moons and a waterfall at the bottom with a bit of blue and a bit of uh, purple and probably a bit of pink. But yeah, I really love making it, and it's it just came out really good. My name's Poppy and I came here to just have some fun with some artists and stuff and create something that I wouldn't be able to do at home and it was a really good experience that uh, I haven't done before and I really enjoyed it. We did lots of uh, street art and stuff on some boards and we did some paint and some really just artistic things with different things you wouldn't be able to or actually things you'd be able to use at home like tops or CDs or tops of lids and stuff and just some boards and just create something that you wouldn't think you'd be able to create out of the little supplies that they use it's really good fun My name is Stephen Julian. Uh, my my experience with street art. Uh, it's uh, uh, I started at home with YouTube and that, and buying cheap spray paint. And the workshop was really fun, and it and it teaches you how to do it really easily and in an efficient manner. Started off by doing um, like shapes and filling them in and then shading them, and uh, we did a uh, pink a pink blue and a pink and blue skull and then transitioned onto doing planets with newspaper and cardboard my name is Christopher Proctor I came to Hillfields Park, Stoke Park today and uh, took part in a graffiti street art class and um, I've been taught how to use a spray can, I've been able to make art on a, a canvas and uh, I've had a really good time, it's been worthwhile and uh, thank you very much. Okay, nice and quick. Yeah. Perfect. Good. One, two, three, four. Not bad at all. Um, my name's Mary and I originally signed up for my son who's doing GCSE art um, but I got to have a go myself and it's absolutely brilliant and we've all had a go, it's been a family day, we've had the 10 year old, the 15 year old and mum have a go, it's been absolutely fabulous. Um, we created, um, I had a planet, um, my son did a moon and um, the other one did um, a solar system. Okay. I'm PCSO yep. Jones. Uh, I've really enjoyed getting involved with all the art okay. today yep. and having Andy help me create a good piece of artwork and getting to know everybody here and working together. I created four different planets using different techniques yep. of spray paint, um, using my hands, the spray paint can and different stencils. Right. It's been a great so advantage for it, the community to get the together and do their artwork. Right, a little bit closer. Nice. Right, we're all getting nice and skinny lines now. Skinny lines are hard to get. Close and back. We need like, the space, out of space and like, Excellent. I, I use like right, a brush technique so that it wouldn't yeah. go everywhere. And I use now, my fingers to flick some white ones to make some stars. They're orange, yellow, white, purple, blue, white and orange. And white. That's what it looks like you do it wrong. Do it right, it looks like this. Okay? 
Hi, I'm Melissa Smith and I work for Street Art Strategy. We are a company that is focusing on street art and yeah, we love it. And today we're working out in the community in Hillfields. This project is a collaboration with West Midlands Police and is paid for out of the proceeds of crime money. So all a good cause. We've done a couple of projects with the police. We're in Primrose Hill Park today. Beautiful sunny day. Um, we've got uh, all age ranges and families spraying with us today. So it's really good to show people the different techniques, how to do, how to use a spray can. Um, they're spraying on board, so quite large scale. And then they're also creating some smaller pictures that they can take home with them. And the pictures that Andy, um, the spray artist, is doing with them is a technique that is come from Mexico on the streets. Street artists there used to do this um, and used to people like used to do the technique and then people used to pay them and it's all done with recycled materials that otherwise would have gone to landfill so we're saving the planet as well as spraying the walls.